had to leave. Just had a uh, mishap late, and you know, it cost us. Did you get a look at what happened on the uh, strip sack? No, I didn't. I didn't even see what happened. Did they, did they adjust or do anything different in the second half defensively? Say again? Did they do anything di differently defensively in the second half to kind of slow you guys down? Uh, I mean, they made some adjustments as far as defense, personnel they put in. Um, and we just try to go out and execute. What do you feel like, Derek, if you guys leave here knowing this is going to be a different different team here and you're going to be playing with some of these guys for the last time? Yeah, I mean, I just told the guys appreciate their efforts. Um, we went through some adversity this year. Adversity builds character, and I feel like everybody showed that. Coming to work, knowing it was tough, no, made no excuses. Made each each other better um, on all three phases, and just, just kept working. And um, kept our head up and believed in what we do. And um, you know, that's all you can do is, is appreciate them. I told them, whatever, if they're here or anywhere else, I'll be family. For you personally, you know, the adversity as you guys went through, did, did you learn anything new about yourself this season? Did I learn anything new about myself as far as adversity right. was? You said adversity builds character. Um, I mean, that's just life. You can go through things, things are not going to go where you want them to. But you just keep swinging, keep pushing, keep fighting, keep working, and uh, just put faith in the man above. What was it like there, just kind of dealing with inconsistencies with Dale? You guys had so many injuries, and you started three different quarterbacks. What was the toughest part about dealing with inconsistencies with the offense? Well, you never want to see your brothers go down, so that was tough. You know, seeing you know, guys go down, being hurt, not being able to line up with us. You know, knowing the work they put in throughout the season. And, uh, you know, guys did a great job stepping in and doing whatever they can to, uh, you know, play like a starter and prepare like one as well. And um, I'm just thankful for that. And uh, like I said, we're we all in this together, man. So whatever happens, you know, on the field and the results, you know, it's, it's, it's all on us. And, you know, we're a team. So. I know Josh owned your teammates for a couple of weeks. He's the only time you played with him. But how do you think he did? What, what do you maybe say to him as he as this year? So um, thank you, man. Thank you for coming in and, you know, learning the system quick. Um, thank you for giving us a chance. Um, I appreciate his leadership um, from the time that he got here and the way he worked. And, um, you know, um, just, you know, it's just fun having him and um, he's a bright future. Starting Derek. off seven and three, but losing out to end the season, missing the playoffs. I mean, how how shocking is that for you guys? I mean, could you guys could you ever imagine a finish like that to a season? I mean, nobody wants to finish how we did. I mean, it's never the plan, never the goal. But like I said, stuff happens, adversity happens. We wanted to win the division and have a great record, yeah. But it didn't happen this year. So I mean, what you're gonna do is over with now. All you can do is go back to work and uh, be thankful for the journey and everybody and their efforts. And then look forward to the next year. Derek, what does this offense need to get back to being productive again, like it was recently? Uh, I mean, get everybody healthy. I mean, the game just ended. I mean, I'm not going to look at, look at all that. But um, the guys who were in there tried to do the best they can. That's all you can, all you can hope for. You know, we had guys that go down, the starters go down. The guys had to step up and you know, play in their place. And I feel like they did a great job, the best that they can. That's all you can wish for. That's all you can hope for. And. Um, and we're not going to get into what his office needs, this and that. I mean, it's, the game just ended. We have plenty of time to answer those questions and you know, fix the things we need to fix. It's a hell of a job by all of us, man. I made one play at the end. You know, our offense were battling, too. Um, you know, we're driving, driving, and it stalled. But, man, I think both all three phases were playing their ass off. Just came up short, man. And it sucks, you know. Um, the team been through so much, um, injuries, you know, so much different things, you know, um, and adversity struck and, you know, we could have came in with a different attitude, um, but, you know, we stayed the course. Um, it's a prop to, you know, the leader of this team, Coach Vrabe, and, you know, just the leaders in our locker room. But, man, I'm proud of the team. I told them at the, um, before we uh, broke it down there, man, we, so many guys came in and helped this team out. You know, we signed some guys on Tuesday and had to play in Thursday night game. It's things like that, man, it just shows what the team built, you know, um, our character, you know, our culture and all that, man. So, like I said, it, it sucks. Um, I didn't come out this game just, you know, I'm disappointed. I'm, I, I wanted to win. Um, I know we, we had a great opportunity to win this game, but I'm just, you know, I'm thankful for this team. I'm thankful for the guys we have in the locker room, and we'll be back. Um, I told him, man, we just worked the tail off this offseason, come back hungry, and um, we'll, we'll figure it out. And, um, you know, like I said, adversity struck. It struck this season, and, you know, God had different plans for us as a team. Um, and, you know, we'll learn from it and be back next year. I know there were a ton of injuries, and it's been that way the last couple of years. But did, did you ever, in your wildest dreams, when you guys were sending three, you know, coming home from Green Bay, think that you would lose your final?
final seven games and get eliminated? Not at all, man. I, you know, you never go in a game and think you're going to lose. It's just like this game. You know, nothing mattered. The game, the seven game we won, and, you know, however many we lost coming into this game, that don't matter. And it didn't matter. It's just we were trying to find a way to win this game. I said it earlier this week. So it just it sucks to lose this game. Um, I will say this, you know, it was a hell of a job by the defense at the end of it. You know, it, man, it was good play by number two. Um, and, you know, they got the ball off our quarterback and scooped and scored. So, you know, give, we got to give the credit to them guys. You know, they they finished this season strong. We just didn't. And like I said, God had different plans for us. And we'll, we'll figure it out and bounce back next year. Probably too early to ask you this, but obviously this is going to be a different looking locker room next year. You've got, you know, your personal business to attend to in the off season. I mean, how do you approach all that? How do you, how do you, how do you look at all that? I, I, me personally, um, I have teams and I have a team in place for, you know, whatever goes on this off season. Um, they know how much I um, love here in Tennessee. They know that this team means a lot to me. This city means a lot to me. And, you know, I want to be here. Um, and um, I mean, I let my team focus on that. I'm just, I would focus on getting healthy. Um, that's my bigger concern right now is how fast and um, how quick can I figure out everything what's going on with my body and get healthy. And that's what I'm kind of going to be focused on. And whatever else, I let my team handle that. And as far as our locker room, like I told them, I mean, I wish everybody come back, but we know how the business goes. And you know, I, like I told them, I appreciate them. You know, because um, like I said. We could have hung our hat up earlier when um, we lost three in a row. You know, so the mindset could have been different. Injuries happens. But like I said, just the way these guys came in and bought it into our culture, and, you know, no matter what happened, happened during the season, we stuck together as a team, and what more can you ask for? So I appreciate them guys, whoever won't be here, but, you know, whoever come back, you know, it's time to get to work. You know, we lose, you know, lose the game to win going to the playoffs, especially against a division team. Um, but yeah, just disappointing. Um, tough for sure. Great effort by the defense tonight, keeping Jacksonville out of the end zone, except for that one time. What can you say about your side of the ball? Yeah, man. I, you know, I think just at this moment, like it's kind of hard to say, like, hey, we play well. I mean, mm -hmm. we played good at times, but it just wasn't enough. Um, you know, I think it's just a whole team. It just wasn't enough. But like you said, obviously proud of the effort. Um, play well in some spurts or whatever, but it just wasn't enough at times. Um, but yeah, just just a tough way to go out. Did you ever, in your wildest dreams, think that at seven and three, coming off that Green Bay game, that you guys would drop your final seven and miss the playoffs? I mean, of course not. I mean, nobody thinks they're going to win, lose seven games in a row. Um, you know, looking at you know the entire season as a whole, obviously to go seven and ten or whatever, you know, it's a disappointment. You know, bottom line, uh, regardless of you know, some of the highs or lows of the season, but ultimately just disappointed um, because we know what type of team we are. But, you know, definitely going to be a, a long, reflective offseason, uh, figure out what I can do um, as a leader uh, to get better and to do more for this team to help us uh, in these type of situations. <clears throat> I mean, it's exactly what that, you know, the goal was to uh, – Come out and win. I felt like whole game, we all felt like that. We had good energy. Uh, came out hot. Uh, I mean, that's what we played for to make it to the playoffs, and we didn't. So, just need to get back home safe and uh, rest our mind, bodies, and reflect on the whole season and um, figure it out from there. You know, it's not time to bash or this or that. It's just the time to sit back and. Uh, Appreciate the whole season now, you know, you know, we'll figure out what went wrong when it's time. Terrific effort by the people. I mean, what can you say about uh, your side of the ball tonight? Uh, I think, you know, the goal is not to let them score, so the Titans just need to be better. If they don't have that score, we win. And um, as a defense, it doesn't matter how good you play. If they score a touchdown, you know, that you could you can affect the game with no points. So we'll all take a look at it and just um, try to get better so then, you know, that's what the team's for, to play off of each other and be able to just play as a team and make things happen. So we'll, we'll get back as a defense and figure out what happened on that one play. Did you ever in your wildest dreams when you guys started 7-3 think that you'd end the game and end the season on a seven-game losing streak? 
I mean, nah, nobody think. I mean, as me, I think I'm gonna win every, us, me individually, the team, Titans, we think we're gonna win every week, no matter the situation. So I don't think anybody in the NFL thought after being seven and three, we would uh, lose seven and seven or six, whatever it was in a row. So nah, no one, no one thought that, and it's a tough thing to handle. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter how many we lost in a row. This was the game we were focused on, and we just didn't get it done.